This is Ezekiel 2 and 1. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and sent, set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, I will send thee to the, re to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me, even unto this very day, for they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh power, and they, whether they, they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there hath been a prophet among them. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahashah, Bashem, Rakah, Kadash, Dabar, City Apostles, and Elders, a great millstone. So he takes you to Yoachim, pushing his word with truth, sincerity, maturity, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice, we who are ready to live, salute you. So, um, I just wanted to go into a, a quick lesson, Lord willing about uh, the nation of Israel, our people, man, you know, the wicked of our people, man, how stubborn, stiff-necked, and hard-hearted that they, that they are, man. Okay. And, um, um, matter of fact, let me get another one. Um, That's how you know which uh, nation of people this is, man. Okay. Because there's nothing like a nigga, man. You know, niggas, niggas are going to nig, man. You know. And it's funny, man. The more of this truth comes out, um, the more hard hit our people are, man. You know. They're, rebel they're uh, rebelling against uh, Yahweh by Shem Yahashah, right? That's why the scripture says, My heritage is unto me like a lion in the forest. It crieth against me. And right now, our people are crying against Yahweh by Shem Yahashah, man. You know, they're mocking his prophets and they're. Uh, they refuse to return and take heed to the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahashai, man. Okay. This is Matthew 13 and 15. For this people heart is waxed gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. Okay. So they're they're dull of hearing, man. Okay, they're not going to hear the words of Yahweh by Shem because they weren't they uh they weren't made to. All right. Okay, as the scripture says, uh, "Who is blind, uh, but my servant Jacob?" Man, roughly paraphrasing, man. Really, the Lord blinded them so He could judge them. You know, we understand that. You know, you know, but still in all, we have to tell them, as the scripture says, whether they hear or forbear, man. And it's very uh, vexing to deal with a people like that, man. Uh, uh, let me get a scripture. All right, very um, annoying and vexing to deal with the people that are like that, man. Okay. I was talking to a brother the other day about how, you know, um, about how when we were growing up, You know, 
how when we were growing up, you know, niggas would make fun of you if you were smart or if you talk proper, you know, if you had any kind of intelligence about you, man, niggas would, uh, would play on that, man. They'd, uh, shun you, man. Me see, see, niggas, um, they idolize ignorance, you know, they, they always have, man, you know. They idolize ignorance. That's why scripture says folly is set in great dignity. Out of all the shit that's going on, all the information that's coming out right now, niggas can't do nothing but 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 get on TikTok and make a fool of themselves, man. All right, they're not gonna take anything serious, man. You know, it reminds me of uh, when Moses um uh found them worshiping um. That, that calf in the wilderness, the golden calf, man. It says the children of Israel rose up to play, man. Jake always wanted to play, man. You know, everybody's clout chasing, want to be funny, want to be famous. And it's all, it's all fake, you know. It, it's all fake, man. So we're coming to a time where things are going to get real. And as the scripture says, they're going to know a prophet was among them, man. When, when they're going to know when it's too late, man, you know, right. This is Ezekiel three and one. Moreover, he said unto me, son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll and speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, son of man. Cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel, speak with my words unto them. For thou art, for thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language, but unto the house of Israel. Right, so... It's sweet in your mouth, this word, man, when you hear it. You're an Israelite, you know, but then when you realize how our people are and they set they set you at naught, they're totally against you. You didn't, you know, something you didn't really expect to happen. When you, when you first came in, you know, for, for some of us, you know, probably for most of us. But um, <clears throat> then we see that niggas are just going to nig, man, you know. That's why the scripture says, cast not your pearls before swine. Because uh, the refugee player first, and they will turn around and rend you. Okay. So that's what the part that makes it, that's one of the one of the many parts that makes it bitter. Okay. Not too many people of a strange speech and of a hard language, whose words thou canst not understand. Surely had I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto thee. But the house of Israel would not hearken unto thee, for they would not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. Right? All the house of Israel, impudent and hard-hearted, man. Okay. All right. So they're not going to hearken. Okay, they're not going to hearken. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces and thy forehead strong against their foreheads. Right? <clears throat> so, yeah, man, we made the, uh, we made, we, the Lord has made our, our, our face strong against your face and our forehead strong against your forehead, man. All right? So we're very adamant about what we believe, man. You know, and we're very passionate about what we believe. And we're ready to die for what we believe, man. You know. All right. And and, and dealing with these niggas, man, because these niggas, man, like I said, man, they're the um they're very disagreeable people and they're very annoying and, and, and um, unpleasant to deal with, man. 
But this is who we have to deal with, just like the prophets of old. All right. As an adamant harder than flint have I made thy forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. All right. So they're, rebel they're rebelling against the Lord, which means to go back to war, man. All right. You know, and these are the people that we have to uh, have to deal with, man. And even Esau knows that, okay? Esau under very well understands the nature of a nigga, and he uses it to his full advantage, all right? And uh, I've heard certain brothers say it, man, uh, probably before Esau physically comes for us, there's going to be niggas to do it, man. We're coming into a time when um, we're going we're gonna to have to hit the, and, and, you know, we've had to do that in the past, you know. You know, we've had to get physical with, with people, man, out there, man. But we coming to a time, man, where these people are going to prove themselves to be um, the profit killers, man. You know, they're going to want to put us to death. You already got uh, uh, people talking about the, you know, the Israelites, how they, you know, you know how they hate us, how they want to kill us, you know, they, they're talking like that now, you know, and it's only going to ramp up, especially as these, um, as these, uh, plagues come in, you know, because when all hell breaks loose out here, you know, and when, and when Esau comes with great wrath against the whole world, mainly against the Israelites, they're going to be blaming us, man, for what's happening to them, man. You know, they're going to blame us. And that's our people, man. But this time, the Lord got something for your ass, man. Because the Lord's going to raise up the uh, scripture says when the enemy's, enemy comes in as a flood, the Lord's going to uh, lift up a standard against them, man. All right. Um, all right. So this is going to be something. Um, something new all right so y'all gonna run up on the um the prophets this this time man and y'all gonna have something else coming man all right you know and when that family when all hell breaks loose a lot of y'all gonna be looking for the prophets because you're gonna be looking for answers man and while you looking for the prophets and, um, you know, Jeremiah, um, 16, 16 kicks in, man. You know, the prophet's going to be looking for you, man. <laughs> okay. They'll be looking for you to, to, to transition you into the spirit world, man, pretty much. Okay. This is, uh. Because I remember a dream a particular brother had. I don't remember exactly who it was, but the brother pretty much had a dream that um, it was a bunch of two-thirds, and they basically were trying to, um, I guess it was during the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, I guess food was scarce, and, you know, people had to do what they had to do. So he basically said it was a group of niggas. He said it was some niggas and some nigger women, uh, women and men, right? And they were basically trying to oppress him, you know, as he was going through, you know, walking around, you know. And they tried to attack him. And he said he opened his mouth uh, and light came out of his mouth. And then he basically just took out a whole city block. And he said he could see them, uh, <clears throat> what was left of them niggas was like all burned and singed and crawling around like little roaches, you know. He basically hit him with a a, a a blast of fire, man. You know, these are the type of things that's going to be happening to you people in these last days when you run up on the prophets with that bullshit this time, man. But this is Revelation um, 11 and 3. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, right? 
which make which uh, represents the prophets of the southern and northern kingdom, right? Which is who you see out here today, giving our people warning, man. And they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days, clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth and devoureth their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. Okay. So, you know, these are the type of things that's going to be happening, you know, to you niggas when you run up on the prophets this time, man. The Lord is going to show himself to you niggas, man. You know, and really I can't wait because I hate you niggas, man. Me personally. I, I hate a nigga, man. You know. We'll love you in the kingdom when you're in your right goddamn mind. Right now, you're an enemy of the cross. You're an you're enemy of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai. Thus, you are uh, our enemy, man. And what did King David say? Do I do not I hate them? O Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, who, uh, uh, who hate thee? Yeah, I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. So you niggas on this side are our enemies, man. And you are the, of your father, the devil. And you are those that, that uh, killed the prophets. All right. That 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 uh, hated the Lord, consented to his death. Uh, you said, let his blood be upon us and our children. Well, so be it. All right. And now you got to pay for that blood and every other drop of righteous blood that hit the ground from the dawn of time and all the way to the end. Okay, you know, so that's about it. A little lesson I wanted to do. Um, hope it was edifying. Shalom.